Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Talks with Timmy. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about understanding your instinct, or at least uh, knowing a little bit more of what instinct is. Well, when I was thinking about making this video, um, I just thought it was really interesting topic to have because, you know, we, we always have these moments in our life where we tend to behave a certain way or we think a certain way, think about something, and it tends to be uh, a moment where you kind of, what's going on? It's, uh, I don't know what, like, it's a, f a phenomena that cannot seem to be explained. So I actually did a little bit of thinking and, you know, it's th some of the stuff that I sort of thought about started making sense to me. But what I did is I, I went and did some research actually, and that's what I'm actually gonna be talking about in this video is uh, what I've found in the stuff I was reading and uh, what I was thinking about, the experiences I've had and what we can share as a whole. So in today's video, we are pretty much gonna break it down and summarize uh, what instinct is and um, basically really try and define it in a way. So in my research, um, I found that there's a lot of commonalities and similarities between certain definitions and theories and uh, also just uh, examples of what instinct is and that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, talking to you about in this video is how can we understand our instinct and make it work for us to progress in our life and achieve our goals um, and our aspirations and so on and so forth so uh, what we're basically going to do is we're going to take the definition of instinct and we're going to break it down into five points because uh, it's just going to be easier to understand for you that way and then hopefully we by the end of this video You will hopefully have a bit of an insight into how your instinct runs, how it works for you um, What triggers it if by the end of the video? Uh, you are still not quite sure and you want to actually learn a little bit more about instinct and understanding it and how you can use it to uh, further yourself and your development um, let me know in the comments below and even uh, if you've got questions about this video, because I'm sure there'd be a lot of questions, especially if we're just going through definition today. So again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and just keep watching. Um, I'm sure you're gonna find this really, really interesting. So to define instinct, firstly, um, we're gonna go through the five, five things that I've found. The first thing you need to know about instinct is it's not related to your brain activity. Uh, it's not something that you think about and then it suddenly happens. Um, and that's what kind of confuses some people is that instinct is like you think about it, I think something is going to happen, uh, so therefore I should take so many steps to do something uh, and satisfy it. That's not what instinct is, that's logic. Logic is a step by step process that you think through and you actually plan that um, in order to achieve a certain task or goal. So the second thing you need to know about instinct is it's a hardwired behavioral pattern, meaning that it is actually consistent with particular events or things that happen uh, around us. So um, the, be the behavior is something that is always gonna be the same towards a certain thing. So for example, um, when you look at animals, and if there's an earthquake uh, that's about to happen or a natural disaster is about to come, animals tend to behave a certain way and it's consistent with that particular event throughout time. So every time a natural disaster happens, what do animals tend to do? Normally, they tend to get a little bit louder or they try and seek for shelter or they make a run for it or, or what, whatnot, but they tend to act a certain way because uh, instinct tells them um, that you know you need to behave a certain way in order to survive I guess in that thing which brings me on to the third point so the third thing you need to know about instinct is it is actually a response to a uh, certain trigger and it's not just a uh, behavioral trigger it's an outside uh, third-party environmental trigger so anything you get from the environment um, your instinct will tri be triggered and respond to that particular uh, uh, stimuli. What I found in my research is that there are two types of kind of responses. 
from your instinct to certain environmental triggers. So the first one is um, a consistent pattern that tends to happen and your instinct will tell you to behave a certain way towards that particular phenomena or trigger. First one is just your general uh, pattern. So if there's a certain pattern of events that tends to take place, your instinct will take over or not, not take over, but your instinct will trigger you to behave a certain way in order to, um, I guess, make the best of that moment or what's, what's going to benefit you in that particular situation or environment. So, for example, if something happens to you over and over and over and over and over again, say you keep forgetting to do something and it leads to a bad uh, thing, then your instinct will tell you, you should probably stop doing that because, you know, it always ends up really badly. So your instinct will tell you to change a certain way or behave a certain way in order for that bad thing to stop happening to you. The second type of uh, trigger that you'll have is, or behavior, is the need to survive. So your instinct will trigger if it's a means of survival. So one thing that you tend to have uh, a perfect example is the the need to mate with someone and you find it in animals you find it in human beings as well we just have that primal instinct to for the f future and the survival of our kind our instinct is telling us to you know we need to mate and have kids have uh, grow the tribe or grow the herd in order for us to survive. And the second example would be if someone's coming in to attack you, your instinct will tell you you're in danger and you need to get out of there. One thing that I found is that the, your survival instinct or your instinct mustn't be confused with reflexes because reflex is a um, response to particular physical stimuli. So for example, if someone waved their hand at you to slap, your reflex would be to turn your head or to turn away. That's reflex. That's a response to a physical or uh, even if someone sh yelled at you and you jerked, that's a reflex to something that's happening. Whereas your instinct is something a little bit more complex than that. What I was reading is that when you, instinct in terms of its complexity is it takes a couple f more it has a couple more processes surrounding it. So for example, one thing that you'll see in nature is a mother goose's instinct will be to feed their, their younglings um, in response to their hunger. And her instincts telling her that she needs to go get food, uh, find food so that she can feed them in order for them to survive. So it's completely different to reflex. So reflex would be so someone saying, I'm hungry, and then your reflex of response is, ah, oh, we should get food. That's a reflex. Whereas an instinct is, I'm hungry, I need to eat. I'm going to eat food. That's what I need to survive. That's instinct. But the fourth and the most interesting one I found, probably, is that um, instinct is evolutionary. And it's something that can be improved over time as well. So your instincts can be sharpened, they can uh, help you develop a little bit further, and it's how civilization and other species have actually managed to grow and develop over time. And the reason why we are where we are today is probably based on these instinctive traits over a period of time. But my theory is, and I hope I'm not the only one that thinks this, but I reckon that instinct is hereditary so it can actually be passed down from generation to generation uh, biologically because the one thing we need to remember is that instinct is not learnt it is just something that exists but i still believe that it has to come from some kind of origin some form of experience and that's something that we kind of take advantage of and one of the things that we do as humans is we tend to develop and we think about things and we uh, expand on our knowledge base. So in order for our survival as human beings, we've developed technologies, we've developed uh, techniques, we've developed 
uh, new ways of exercising, we've developed new ways of innovation and, to, and science and maths and businesses and so on and so forth, just so for us to continue to grow, get stronger and survive in the world that we are in. This is what brings me to my fifth point is that, you know, instinct can be used um, as a mean, as both a noun and an adjective. So as a noun, we can describe instinct exactly of how it is right now. It is used to um, describe our response to a specific thing. It's a noun. Whereas an adjective, instinctively or instinctly, uh, actually, I have no clue how to use it as an adjective. But anyway, you get my point. Um, say, say someone's painting and they inst can ins make instinct paintings. There we go. And it's actually an impulse. That's what the, the adjective version is. is. Instinct is an impulse to do something. Just, you do it. Adjective is an activity. You do it. One thing that I've learned and I've, if you don't know, I've done some martial arts training in the, uh, a couple of years ago. And one of the things that we were learning about is um, our in primal instinct to react to danger. So again, taking that example, if someone swings a bat at you, um, your instinctive reaction is, or instinct is to, you know, I need to fight for my life right here and right now. When you do martial arts, you can actually develop that instinct into something that's really, really powerful. So learning some form of self-defense, learning to keep your hands up, learning to cover your head, learning to keep your eyes up and facing your opponent or whoever's in front of you, making sure that you're aware of the danger, building your awareness and even your mental capacity to be able to remain calm, remain neutral and assess the situation as, as it is right there. It's not removing the instinct. It's not killing the instinct and say, shoo, you need to be quiet. Let me deal with it logically. Um, it's actually taking the instinct, acknowledging it and actually making something effective of that instinct. So that's how you can define instinct. Um, hopefully you understand a little bit more about what instinct is. Um, if you would like me to summarize it, I'll just summarize it very quickly. So number one, it is not related to any brain activity of you thinking of what's gonna happen. It's not something that is learnt. Um, number two, it is a fixed or wired, uh, hardwired behavioral pattern that is very consistent with certain particular events of time. Uh, number three, uh, it is evolutionary, so you can develop it over time and it can increase and improve and I guess sharpen over a period of time and generations uh, through hereditary um, genes and genetics and biologically. Number four, it is a response to uh, environmental triggers or certain triggers that uh, activate your two, two things. One is just a, uh, a particular pattern, a familiar pattern where you need to behave a certain way in order to avoid a certain circumstance or either gain a certain circumstance, it could be good or bad. Um, or the second type of instinct will be for your survival. And lastly, it can be used as a noun or an adjective, but it can, can become an impulse to do something. So your impulse would, is to react a certain way or behave a certain way. And all those things tend to interlink and they link together. So don't treat those things in isolation. They all connect to one thing called instinct. Hope you enjoyed that video today. If you like this video and you want to see more of uh, more ones like this, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we will probably have another channel update very, very soon. Um, I've actually been hitting a bit of a bum in the bump in the road of YouTube videos and so on and so forth. So any encouragement would be really awesome and really, really appreciated. Um, but until next time, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, what do you know about instinct? How would you like to, how much more would you like to learn about instinct? Because it is a complex topic. Um, so I'd really appreciate your thoughts. So until next time, bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.